hello 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 <clears throat> welcome back to the channel welcome to the channel if you are new thanks so much for subscribing and hope you enjoy what you see i've just jumped on this morning um one because i want to finish off um a page that i've been working on and got an idea of how i want to finish it and two i wanted to finally have a go with these and i thought the best way to do it is to do it with you lot and i'll tell you what i think so this is the derwent ink tents pan studio set so they're in you can buy them in two sets set one and set two or you can buy them together so i just bought them together pretty sure i've got these with birthday money um i absolutely love ink tents pencils i use them all the time i just thought these would be a great way of adding ink tents to the page on bigger areas maybe and definitely for backgrounds and things so what i thought i would do is First of all, we'll swatch them out. So I'm just going to put some water on them. I just got these off Amazon as well. Um, I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what I'm doing with watercolours and things like that. So it's a bit of an exploratory situation. But I thought we'll swatch them out. And then it might be interesting to just compare some of these colours that I know they definitely have in the ink tents to see how it looks. I've just grabbed a piece of paper, it's just watercolour paper, it's got splats all over it. I am also just in the midst of Covid so if I sound a bit funny or I start coughing, that is why. Um, so, first, shall we swatch these out? Sherbet Lemon, pretty sure this is a pencil colour i'm pretty sure all these are pencil colours actually maybe maybe not i'm not sure i don't i don't recognize that mango one shall i zoom us in but that's nice very nice Just thought we'd swatch and see. Ooh. It would help if I was on screen. I'm trying to fit both in, but that's beautiful. In fact, I don't recognise some of these colours like dark plum. I don't think that's an ink tense pencil. I've just nearly dipped this in my drink. Mango. I feel like I'm going to love this colour. It's beautiful. Yep, they're very, very nice. Um, I'm going to move that there because the, the light's covering it. But these are stunning. What next? Bright orange. So I've just pipetted, is that a word? <laughs> pipetted some water on just to activate them. I don't know if that's what you should do or not, but that's what I'm doing. You know, I just like to roll with things. That's beautiful. Very red orange, very red orange. So that mango is gorge. That sherbet lemon is a very green. Oh, this one's called cherry. I already think I'm gonna love this one. Oh, right. I know this is really disgusting, but that's like blood. So you know, on the beauty of horror. Perfect. Love it. Poppy red. I do know is a ink tense pencil. I'm pretty sure it is. So nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them here. I'll find the perfect place to put these. Are lovely. <coughs> now I don't normally use. <coughs> excuse me. I don't normally use watercolor pans. I do use watercolor pencils and the ink tense pencils and neo colors on my pages. Um. But. I do want to start experimenting a little bit more. So this is that dark plum, which I definitely don't think is a pencil. I don't recognise it if it is. Wow, it's almost black. It's such a dark purple, it's almost black. I like it, I really like it. Um, violet. I've not got my swatch book, so what we'll do is we'll 
scribble so we'll match some colors and scribble them underneath just to see the difference in the pencils because that, that is beautiful that's absolutely gorgeous that's this one navy blue that's quite watery let me just i think i put a bit too much water on there That's nice though, really nice. Oh, that's a bit weird. That wasp is kind of not doing anything. I just give it a minute. It looks like it's kind of got some colour, but I mean, it's a nice colour. But the pan itself doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's a bit weird. That's a bit better. Still watery though. Maybe I've just used too much water. We'll see. Ooh, and I'm going to like this one. This is bright blue. That's lovely. Really nice. And then these are going to be like my faves absolutely love anything turquoise that's like black though that's weird i'm just interested in to ask i feel like that's the wrong color like that could maybe be a racing green because it's definitely not turquoise odd never mind Let's see what this one is. Oh, beautiful. That is so nice. That's teal green. It's got to be. That can't be turquoise. It's practically black. Maybe that's racing green. Oh. Oh, that is that. That's a bit black as well. A bit random. Might be me doing it completely wrong. That's. I have no idea. I don't know, but I like them. They're just very, very dark. Just. I'm just experimenting. But. Oh. I don't really know what colour that is. Never mind. Did I do this one? This has got to be Hooker's Green. That's lovely. That is a lovely green. Really, really nice. Really nice. Like that one. Kiwi. This is a nice colour. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That's absolutely lovely. <coughs> that would work really, really well with that one. I've just, I know I've just messed up my swatches, but. Be quite nice. Um, I like apple green and sherbet lemon, which is a pencil, isn't it? Nice burnt yellow ochre. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. Red oxide. Oh, that's lovely. That is really, really nice. That is really nice. I like that one. Natural brown. Brown. I mean, these are working lovely on this paper. It is watercolour paper. I love paint grey. I love how like blue it is. Pink, black. And this will probably be pointless, but we'll try it anyway. 
is the antique white. Oh, and I've just put Mosasilla black on my brush. So they're the colours. I, I am still a little bit confused about these. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's definitely not turquoise. I would say that's teal green. I don't really know where turquoise is. I'm a bit sad about that. But never mind. Um, so colour wise, apart from that odd mid ultramarine, which is a bit watery, I'm not sure why. The rest are, lo are absolutely lovely. I love this kiwi colour and that mango is beautiful. Bright orange, which is here, is really nice. And that dark plum, it's really, really dark, but it's just, you can see the purple just at the at the edge. You're probably not picking it up on camera. Um, so they are beautiful, beautiful colours. And then what I thought I would do is complete an eerie page using these, but I did want to see just how different they look. So if I grab... I've got a feeling cherry is a colour. Maybe not. Poppy red, there we go. So poppy red, and I definitely know fuchsia is because I use that all of the time. I just wanted to see how they compare against the pencil. So if we take the poppy red and just literally scribble underneath. And if we take the fuchsia, I'm going to make a mess here because things are still white and scribble that underneath. I just wondered how different they actually look. I've not thought this through because the water that I'm using is minging. So actually from the pan, they are far more opaque and like a thicker colour. I mean, obviously I've just put us. I have pressed quite a firmly with that ink temp pencil, but it's much like much more diluted. Look at that, that's the same colour and that's the same colour. So they are like a deeper, richer colour. That is absolutely beautiful. It's not really sort of picking it up on camera as it is in, in real life, but that is a beautiful, beautiful teal green. I absolutely love it. So I think I will be using these. Probably more for backgrounds in big open spaces um love them and i think i'm going to use this hookers i'm going to use actually kiwi and some hookers green i think and i'm going to finish this page that i've been working on in romantic country Corcott, the land of beautiful towering castles a fancy coloring book by e eerie this is the first one i've been working on this page i'll zoom out just so you can see it um, I've based pretty much everything in either Tombow dual markers or um, Albert Jura. So like the sky is Albert Jura, the path is, and I think everything else pretty much apart from the trees is Tombow. Um, they worked really well on this page. They didn't go through. This is a buddy colour with Erica from Elm Colours. So if you do see this Erica, spoiler alert, I'm finishing. Um, and I was looking at this grass. And I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Just thinking I don't want to colour that grass. It's going to take me too long. And then I thought, oh, I know exactly what I can do. I can use some ink tense pan. So I'm going to use this kiwi green. It's still quite wet. Um... Mm, it's very green. I don't like that. I, want, I think I might use Hooker's Green. But I'm just going to have to try and spread. I might use some pencil over the top. I might not. Um... I'm just thinking it's too, far too bright. Far too bright. Where is that piece of paper? I also have no idea what I'm doing. 
So, why would I not do it? On camera. Well, at least that's covered up that green because I do love the green, but for this page, it was a bit luminous. That's quite nice now. It's kind of keep sticking my head in. This is going to take me hours. Um, quite nice now. But the. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I feel like the colour's not as strong. As it was. Because what I was going to do was take the colour from the Inktense pencil. And put it onto the page but then I remembered I was like oh intense pants let's try them I just didn't um, contemplate how fiddly would actually be I think I will definitely be watching some videos sort of watercolory ink tents videos just to see the best way to use them because I've got a feeling that if they're going to be anything like the pencils it's going to be um, a steep, a steep learning curve with the <laughs> I'm currently just taking pigment from the paper. But don't worry, I'm not going to do all of this on camera because I'll literally be here all day by the looks of things. But I just wanted to try them. But working actually quite nice on this paper. Um, which is good because I do think... These pages have a lot of open space, as in the skies are massive. Um, like the page opposite this is a huge mountain and a field, like there's just lots of open space that I feel would takes so long to do in pencil. And also these pages definitely intimidate me a little bit um, because of the open space. I don't really know kind of what to do with them. Um, oh, that was a bit watery. And I'm kind of just hoping that like the not patchiness but kind of the I'm painting all of this because my idea was to get a green posca and add in like all the stems and the vines because you can't really see them 
definitely can't see them now because this is so green. But like even I couldn't use Distress Ink for this because it's too... Far too fiddly. Maybe could have used like watered down gelato. But we've gone for this, so we're just going to have to go with it. But my first impressions are I actually really like them. Like I said, I do need to keep having a play and working out what to do because I'm just wondering whether it's easier kind of like putting it on the palette maybe. I'm working from there as opposed to constantly working off that pan because I'm either too watery or too thick. Let's try this. That's very pigmented. I never paint really like this. I do find it easier to kind of like watercolour pencil it and then just activate it with water as opposed to painting but it's all in the name of experiment oh it's in the of learning I can't speak It's just very dark. <laughs> God, I'm going to ruin this. Absolutely going to ruin this. So I've actually put the pigment on the lid and I'm taking it from the lid now. Just to kind of see what it's like. I'm just using a bit of water to just try and smooth things out. I don't know. I don't ever like what I'm doing. But we're just going to go with it for now. I just don't even feel in this brush either, to be honest. Let me try a different brush. It's a bit watery now. <clears throat> oh, super watery. This is a nicer brush though. Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to keep playing and see what happens. Um, I mean, they're not going through. There's no bleed through whatsoever, which is really good. Um, but I think I just need to play around with them and see. Um, see what I can do with them, really, because I'm just, I'm kind of just making it up. But first impressions are I really, really like them. Um, I'm not loving what I'm doing with them, but I am really, really liking them. I think it's just going to take a bit of sort of playing around, um, experimenting with them, kind of seeing like how they work, 
what's the best way of doing it i think i'll have to do a bit of a, a google maybe a bit of a, a youtube watch myself um but color wise love them super super vibrant um obviously depending on the amount of water is super super opaque um, and I'm sure you'll be able to mix them. I'm definitely not going to go there right now with them because I can't even paint. But they get a thumbs up from me and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've got these, if you use them. How do you use them? What's the best way to use them? I need some help, guys. So please help. Um, I'm just going to carry on laying some colour down in this grass. And it is just going to be what it is going to be now. Um... I'm finding this a little bit better though. This is laying down much better. So maybe it's just getting the consistency right. Maybe I need to like test it on a piece of paper before I put it on the actual colouring page. That maybe is what I've just learned. But I'm quite liking them. I am sure they'll be featuring again. I'm definitely thinking backgrounds. I don't know if it's if I will actually paint on a page with them. Just because I don't really know what I'm doing, but a background I think could be a good idea. Um but yeah, I'm gonna stop there. Please give me a thumbs up, let me know what you think. Do you like them? Are you gonna use them? Have you got them? If you have got them, please help. How do I use them? How do I make it look not like this? Um, and I will see you all in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye. Adios.